So you're gonna hear lots of great examples from our guides about struggles that learners commonly have. And the encouragement that I would give to parents and caregivers is to ask the question, are these the kinds of struggles that we want our, our learners to have? And as a father and as a head of school and a friend of these heroes in our learning environment, for me, they actually are the kind of struggles that we want our learners to have. When they struggle, because they will, consider, is this actually a struggle I'm grateful for? <laughs> uh, because I know from experience that uh, as learners struggle with these things, they, they get better um, at approaching them and they get better at overcoming them. A noise is a big one. Um, so if you have a studio that is where some kids are focused and some kids are not focused, that becomes a barrier, right? And we let the kids work that through. Like, what is that supposed to look like? What do you want your space to look like? Grades three through five, I've noticed the freedoms are sometimes a common struggle uh, because it's still their choice. They could choose where they want to sit, who they want to sit by, what they want to work on. They don't have to ask to use the restroom. They don't have to ask to walk out the studio. So those freedoms are the biggest common struggles. Another struggle that learners have at the school is, you know, what's appropriate to say uh, in a mixed age environment. That's actually a struggle we want our learners to have. We want them to learn that now uh, before they get into a much higher stakes, you know, environment after, um, you know, after they graduate from our walls. First year heroes coming into the school, they feel like I've got all the time in the world. I've got 10 months, this is gonna be super easy. And so instead of diving in deeply to some of those um, language skills or some of those math um, assignments, they'll kind of do typing club and spend a little time doing some of the easier things that they feel like is more fun. And then toward the end of the year, they have a big push to try to get finished. Actually, I think it's a really great learning experience because there is always distraction. They have to learn to actually work with the distraction and to kind of make that choice for themselves of like when it's appropriate for me to, you know, stop my work and actually partake in something more social or allow myself to be a little bit distracted for a little while and when they actually need to switch that off and they need to walk away from the distractions and really focus. I think having that skill to kind of focus when there is a lot going on around you is really important for them and it is something that we see them learn. Managing these struggles at the four school or the four school online it is one of the ways that they are going to become truly independent, self-directed learners over time. The beautiful thing about struggling with them now is it's helping them to grow those muscles of independence. And that's, that's really what's at stake.